I got love for you. If you're not swinging man's weight, then you ain't but doing much for man. You. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. She don't get. come to man talking about no love thing. I'm That's all okay. about money, grind, hustle. Da, 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 yeah? Da, da. Hi guys, my name is Victor Kunda. And my name is Madam Joyce. And, and we, we are Down, down in, in the, the DMs. DMs. Guys, last episode we told you to bring in dilemmas Ooh. and oh my god, did you bring them. We haven't seen any of these dilemmas but our producers are telling us that it's, it's what's It's hot, it is spicy it's and really we hot. are back to solve your relationship problems, to solve your toxic traits and to just be here for you. Yeah. Okay, this is a safe space. It's a not. safe space of non-relationship experts. Yes, with that being said, we are not professionals, we are not doctors, we are not nurses. Make sure that if you have some real issues, please go and see somebody that is qualified because we, we are just here to laugh, okay? We just want to laugh. But if you come to <laughs> us and your relationship goes wrong, blame Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Victor. Card number one. Are you ready? Guys, dilemma number one. I just got an incredible job offer and my girlfriend is angry and jealous. My girlfriend and I both work in tech and we agreed to make great money and have good careers. Get your coins. We've been together Her. for 10 years, by the way. I left my job last year to take some time off for mental health purposes. And then a friend of mine offered me a job with the company he is joining. If I take this job, I'll be basically making two 0.5 times her salary. Bruh, I told her and she got very angry and crying. Like, I know she's always competitive, but I expected a congratulations at least. I have ideas of what's upsetting her, but I don't want to jump into conclusions. Is it common with couples? I'm just giving her space for now, but I was hoping for her to be happy about it. How can your girlfriend be jealous that you are making more money more than, than her? her when in your relationship you're growing together, you're building, you're saving for the house you're about to move into. The mortgage! If anything, she should be happy you're making more. She don't have to put in as much! I'm not saying leave her, but I think it's a character thing. And you know the thing, even if you were jealous, it should be a thing of, babe, mm -hmm. yeah? Yes, babe. You're making this new amount of money. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm jealous, but what it's gonna do is make me work harder. Not just, you're yeah, making that amount yeah, of money, yeah. man. Why? Not angry and crying. Someone that you're supposed to love is giving you good news and you are sobbing? In a relationship, your achievements are my achievements, your wins are my wins, your losses are my losses, your dad leaving is also my dad. But seriously, I feel like there needs to be a conversation that mm -hmm. needs to be had as to probably why she's feeling like that. Yeah. I see people that I love and cherish doing well and I'm like, ooh, if sis can do it, so can I. Yeah. If my if my boo can look like this, so can I. But this Not one, competition, but coalition. This one went to school. You need to speak to her and just be like, what is going on? And if her answer isn't immediately, damn, I messed up, I'm sorry. Pack your things and move to London Bridge. Pack your things and call me. 2.5 times salary called me, I'm single. <laughs> My girl admitted she cheated on me two years ago. Hey! hey, 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 hey. Wave my hand for me, baby. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, basically we've been together five years and a couple years ago she was doing this group project and I noticed one of the guys was flirting with her. Once the project was over, I asked her about the guy and she promised it was harmless and nothing happened. But something in my spirit told me to ask about it again yesterday. And she had admitted cheating and now I don't know what to do. That's too bad. We've changed a lot in two years, so I guess she's not that person anymore, but I don't think I'll be able to move past this. What would you do? You said it was two years ago, she's not that person anymore. If she can still keep it in, has there been much change? She held a secret in for two years and said nothing. You know that is so scary. That's not even a, that's not even a red flag, that's just hell. That one is just immediate. Because block. when you think about it, what else is she lying about? Because she promised. Sis promise. said, on my, sis probably sat there like, No, nah, man, that's just my friend. Stop it. Uh, on my mom, on my mom, on my mom's life. I wouldn't do that to you. How can we, you say that? You know me. You know me, babe. You is know there trust in our relationship? So trust me. This would be the kind of thing to just break my trust in humanity. Completely. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 
I couldn't stay in that relationship knowing that someone has been dishonest to me for two whole years. Hmm. And then you now want to pop it up one day very blase, like, oh yeah, yeah, we f***ed. But you kept it in for two years, you were, you were sleeping peacefully. You slept well, you woke up well, we in were going to dinner. Well. We, did two, we did two anniversaries. You know mummy, you know daddy, you know sister Catherine and, and, and brother Bobby. And you you're know... looking at them in the eye saying, Oh, hello auntie. When they're all saying to you, Oh, take care of him. Yes, I will take of care course. of him. Hey, you really, really. And, and you're like, oh. <laughs> In the bin. In the bin. Here we are, Here, here's the light. Oh. <laughs> Last one, madame. Thank you very much, sir. Such a gentleman. I know. At least I didn't cheat on you two years ago. I told my boyfriend that I love him and he said nothing. Girl, just come, come sit with me. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I accidentally told my boyfriend this morning that I love him and he pretended like he didn't hear anything. <laughs> it wasn't accidental. <laughs> Let's not say it was accidental. Sorry. I need to. <laughs> At first, I felt a rush of embarrassment, but now I'm just scared that it's going to be awkward from now on. Should I be scared that I scared him off? Has anyone else experienced this? How did you and your partner move forward? First of all, how does one accidentally tell your, someone that they love them? That's what I was saying. You, it's not accidental. You sister, love him. Sister, she slips and she's like, oh, I love you! <laughs> <laughs> she burnt her hair on the straighteners. Oh, I love you! <laughs> you love him and that's okay. That's okay to love someone and to vocalise to say that you love someone. But it's when this guy acted like he didn't hear anything. I honestly don't know what to say. Obviously, different people have different times to when they say that they love them. Mm. But God damn! even just an adult conversation. Yeah. Thank you for saying that to me. However, my process to get to love someone takes a bit longer, so I feel for you. I do to the core. I feel for you, but for me to say I love you, babe, I can't. We ain't quite there. I can't do we that still. I got love for you. If you're not swinging man's weight, then you ain't but doing much love for man. You. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. Don't yeah. come to man talking about no love thing. I'm all about money, grind, hustle. Da, 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 yeah. I feel like it's not something that could that should break the whole relationship. No. But just say like, Have babe, I said I loved you. You acted like you didn't hear me. One, did you actually not hear me because we had Roddy Rich playing in the background? So like, but two. Do you love me? It's okay to say that you don't, but if, if you feel like you will get there eventually, just like let me know and give Definitely. me timing so we can book in a Zoom meeting for you to tell me you love me. Okay guys, that is another chaotic episode. I had so much fun. Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? My heart is... Your heart is beating. My heart is painting for the girl that didn't get love back. If you guys want to be involved, make sure that you email us at down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. And let us know what you think. Comment down below. DM us if you even have any dilemmas. We'll see if we can get our phones involved in this as well. We but want you. Yeah, I have been Victor Kunda. And I am Madam Joyce. And we have been down, down in, in the, the DMs, DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Hey, down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Let them know up down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Let's go.